today I am going to try the new 94 rate prime hero Vincent Company. He's the best center back in the game and the highest rated center back in the game right now. He is going for 78.7 million coins, one of the most expensive cards in the game. Luckily, I was able to get him for 53.3 million coins. So let's go claim him, guys. By the way, guys, his teammates are going to be decided by this wonderful wheel. But we have some objectives to complete. I have to reach at least 89 OVR, and there are maximum of nine spins I can use and one respin equal to minus one OVR. So yeah, let's go first place them in the team, guys. And also, I'm going to be putting in the Manchester City uh, UCL icons that were launched in the team automatically. So let's go and put them. Look at this card. It looks beautiful, not gonna lie. It is one of the most best looking cards in the game and 81 pace, 91 defense and 89 physical. Imagine guys, if we upgrade him, it's going to be amazing. And also, it's got nice shooting, a nice decent passing and dribbling stats as well for a center back. He's 190 centimeters, so freaking tall as well. So in the corners, it's going to be very useful. And also, if you're facing some cross spammers, it's going to help you a lot defending those crosses. And the next card that's going to get into this team is the striker card, which is Carlos Tevez. Yeah, there's some controversy around him because he's played for both Man City and also Manchester United. One of the few players to do it. We've put him in the Manchester City team. The next Manchester City hero we've got is Yaya Taure. This guy is a monster, guys. Not just in the game I'm talking about, even in real life, I've watched him. He was a wonderful player, you know. I don't remember what season, but I remember scoring a lot of goals for fun. I think 20 plus goals, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. I'm from a midfield position, that season was lovely from Yaya Taure. Look at that. All green stats. I think he deserves it, you know. If we upgrade him, he's going to be an absolute monster, guys. So look at that. 80 defending, 84 physical, 83 dribbling, 87 passing, 84 shooting, and 79 pace. What an amazing card. These are the players we have in the team now. And we've got 9 spins to fill the rest of the positions. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel, guys. Spin number 1. And come on, wheel. Please be good to me. And here we go. Use any past Manchester. What is this? Use any past Manchester City player. Alright, that's actually quite a good one, to be honest. There are a lot of uh, good past Manchester City players. I want to use Riyad Mahrez. He has been a fantastic player for Manchester City. And now he's gone to Saudi Arabia. But still, I think I'm going to go with that. Alright, guys. Right now, there's no supply for him. In the meantime, let's go spin for the remaining position. Spin number two. And here we go, guys. Okay. Use any icon that played for Manchester City. I think I've got a right one in my mind, guys. Peter Schmeichel has played for Man City, so he's an icon as well. I think this card is going to help us as well, overall wise. Even this card doesn't have any supply, but I'm going to try to be a little bit greedy and try to get him for 17.5 million coins. In the meantime, let's go and use the spin number three, guys. Let's see who we're going to pack. And all right, so it's stopping now. Okay, it's open 10 Libertadores daily packs and use any player. This might be a bad one, guys, because my luck in these packs has been horrible, to be honest. I haven't packed anyone decent. I have to open 10 of these, uh, which is the daily packs. So let's go ahead and open. It's going to cost us 2000 FC points. So yeah, let's go. Come on, please be a nice one. Now, nah, guys, that's not an icon. Bolivia goalkeeper no freaking way that's lampe that's a bad one guys that's a very bad one we've got two sentiment cards not useful at all we got a striker i mean yeah but still we've got the guaranteed pack of 83 to 94 we can use this as well so let's go and open this one come on come on please be a good one no freaking way guys no icon one second argentina all right sentiment okay okay uh, Medina, I think this is the one I can go with probably. So I'm going to go put him in the bench guys because you know, we've got nine spins and we already got three spins. So one player we can put on the bench and I think uh, Medina is the one that's going to the bench. By the way, guys, I forgot to tell you what happens if I don't reach 89 OVR. For every one less OVR, I have to give away one star pass to one of you guys from my subscribers. If you want to get a chance, just subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below. And simple guys, one random comment I'm going to be picking in the next five days. So yeah, good luck everyone. Both the purchases of Riyad Mahrez and also Schmeichel has been successful. Let's go claim them and here we go 31.3 million coins we spent for them. So it's time to put the players in the team. So we're gonna put in Schmeichel in the goalkeeper position. For now I'm just gonna you know put Riyad Mahrez in the right wing position. We want to change the formation. This time I want to use a formation with right mid. I never go with a formation that has right mid because there aren't any uh, high rated uh, right wingers uh, I mean right mid players. So that's the reason why I normally prefer 4-3-3 formations. But this time we're gonna change it guys. Here we go 
let's see what we're gonna get all right it is stopping guys it's stopping okay use any belgian teammate okay i think that is good we've got romano lukaku we've got telemans aldo veral uh, i mean yeah aldo veral i think uh, he played he definitely played with company if i'm not wrong i think kevin de Bruyne is the best choice guys yeah let's go use kevin de Bruyne. i'm gonna put him in the sentiment position of course kevin de Bruyne, he's here i think i have to find a formation guys 4141 is the way to go guys this is the formation we're going to be choosing and i think medina will also fit in the sentiment portion for now let's just put him there and we're up to a 79 OVR. i think this is going to be a hard one guys getting 89 over is going to be very hard in my opinion because there are some very bad uh bad options in the wheel as well we better avoid those but let's see next spin he's here i think it's spin number five if i'm not wrong or four um i lost the count ah uh, here we go guys i was talking about the bad ones right so this is the bad one use any burnley player i put this option because he's the current manager of burnley and they are doing terrible guys i'm not sure if they have got any 80 plus rated player so let me just search and no freaking way guys the highest rated card is a 79 rated bug no way guys i think uh, that's the one i'm gonna go with or probably i can just get the left mid player because we are using a formation with left mid but yeah i'm just gonna get the highest rated one you know so 52.9 million coins for him so let's go purchase him in the meantime let's go and spin the wheel i lost the count of the spin i have to count i um, mean yeah anyways never mind so this is the one okay this might be a good one use any manchester what is this yeah use any manchester city present player all right so this might be a good one we can probably fill in the right back position i think walker might be a right fit for the right back position so i think that's what's there in my mind guys i'm gonna use kyle walker 83 overall we're up to so that's good progress let's go and spin the wheel again so let's see what the wheel is gonna give us there is another bad option guys hopefully we don't get that one okay ask youtube this is good hopefully my subscribers suggest me something good i'm gonna ask for the left back position so suggest me a left back i want to make it fair guys I'm, I'm gonna ask them for any rating they want all right so in the meantime let's complete our remaining spins anyways the purchase of burge guy has been successful so let's go and put him in the bench guys that's where he's going to you know no freaking way he's going into my starting 11 and burge enters the team so yeah we are stuck at 83 rating for now so far we have completed seven spins we've got two left we need a left mid and a good center back as well so let's go and spin the wheel there's still one bad one okay use any i think that's a bad one let's see what the option though that's a very bad one guys use any pass or present and the leg player i mean that's the first club which vincent company played for and the last club he played for as well so these are the famous and the leg players i mean romelu lukaku is there but we already got Carlos Tevez in the striker position so that's a waste we need a center back guys and all I can see is this guy Mbemba if I'm not wrong he's playing for Marcel right now so that's a player you can go for and Jordan Lukaku if I'm not wrong is a left mid player and I don't think he's got any good cards so I think uh, yeah we are stuck with Mbemba guys hopefully he has a good card in the game okay that's fine he's an 80 rated center back card I'll take it I'll definitely take it guys 75 rated is better than 80 rated so yeah let's go get him and put him in the team as well hopefully we grow in overall by a bit so let's go and search for the center back all right mbemba is here so yep yeah 84 rated we still got two positions to fill in i think it's going to be tight guys this mbemba and the birch card has pulled us down by a lot let's see what the wheel is going to give us this time and it's going to be use any manchester city teammate that means any player that played with company i guess so raheem serling might be one of the options guys he's a left finger though so i don't think he's going to get good rating as a left mid player but still let's look for different options and also Leroy Sane but he's got right mid card he's, he's also one of the teammates of Vincent company so that's another option we can look right now we've got Sterling and Sane's options so let's go and check for more Bernardo Silva is another option we can use because uh, he's got a 92 rated sentiment card we can use it left mid position probably he's going to be a 86 or 87 in the left mid position I think that's another choice we can look at I think we should just go with uh, Bernardo Silva I think that's a good choice we can go with guys wow he's very expensive 35.3 million coins let's go purchase him and i'll be back so we have 24 comments right now so i'm gonna close my eyes and i'm gonna stop randomly at a comment and i'm gonna click on that we can use that player so let's go all right i close my eyes now so here we go so this is the one this is the one all right roberto carlos it is all right so that is simple so let's go and put in roberto carlos guys in the left back position so that is going to help us a lot to be honest so far the wheel hasn't been very you know supportive to me but still this one 
is a good one. You know, Ask YouTube is one of the best things that have happened in this video. So 87 rated already. I think with Bernardo Silva, we might probably reach 89 OVR guys. So that is good. Yeah, I'll be back once the purchase of Bernardo Silva has been successful. I had a change in mind. So Bernardo Silva, yeah, he's expensive, but also his supplies in the great. So in the meantime, I thought of getting Sterling because he's got an 88 rated card and it's a left wing card. So probably left mid is not going to lose a lot of rating. So let's go and claim uh, Sterling, put him in the left mid position. And here we go. Let's see if he reached 89 OVR or not. So I'm three, two, one. All right. And yes, we did reach 89 OVR. And despite having all the high rated cards like this company, this uh, Tevez card, actually, never mind, guys. We haven't reached 89 OVR. I have a ranked up Kyle Walker card. I'm getting one rating from the Kyle Walker card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the base Walker card and put him in the right back position. I mean, the UCL base version instead of the ranked up version. So let's have a look of the rating after putting him in the uh, right back position. Uh, based on that, we can decide later. The base Kyle Walker card is here. Let's go put him in the right back position. I think we're going to drop to 88 over here, guys. So yeah, we obviously dropped rating to 88. So that means I have to give away one star pass. We are not done yet because we have some head to head objectives to complete as well. So the objective number one is I have to keep a clean sheet. You know, when Vincent company is at the back, you have to keep a clean sheet. And the second objective is I have to score at least three goals in the match, guys. That's the second objective. And the third objective is in the three goals, one of that should be a power shot. So for every one fail objective, I have to give away one star pass. I'm going to try my best to complete all the three guys. All right. So this is a steam kind of very, I mean, average team to be honest. And we've got a very solid team. So yeah, we should definitely uh, be able to complete at least two objectives out of the three. So let's begin the show. And Tevez gets a ball and Yaya Torre. Oh my god, the first goal, it's combined between Yaya Torre and Tevez. I mean, assisted by Tevez and Yaya Torre scores it. That's an easy goal for Yaya Torre. Now, Vincent Company is running back to his... And wow, wow, he has done great there. He has done great there. No, no one's getting past Yaya Torre. I mean, Vincent Company. Medina. Okay, okay. Kevin Ebron is clear. Come on, Kev KDB. Wow, what a finish that was from KDB, guys. I still have two objectives left. One is uh, I have to go score a power shot and the other is I have to score three goals. We've got four minutes left, so the final shot better be a nice power shot. Oh, no way, guys. I tried my best. Yeah, we couldn't complete two objectives. So that means in this video, I have to give it three star passes. So you know the rules. Very simple. Just like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below. And also, guys, Vincent Company has been amazing throughout the match. He has paused the defense and he, he didn't let anyone get past him as you can see zero shots that's it i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure to check out this video and thank you guys for watching